Sturgeon Spearing kicks off this weekend with Sturgeon Spectacular festivities in downtown Fond du Lac. As folks here out on Lake Winnebago get their ice shanties ready to steer some big fish tomorrow morning. A lot of times this is where we get the family together. Everybody spends time on the ice and it's kind of like another holiday, you know, another Christmas, I guess, or birthday. Um, those that live a little bit further away, we can get them in and they can spend some time here. So, Corey Roloff has been sturgeon spearing for 15 years and is now passing the tradition on to his son. Well, my son is doing it more and he's pretty serious into it now, so um, that's what's kind of cool to pass it on. I'm just turned 20 years old, so um, yeah, it's, I'm starting to get more independent now and follow my dad's footsteps. Josh Roloff says he hopes that with his dad's guidance, he can spear his first sturgeon this year. My classmates definitely did not understand it, but you start showing them the videos of spearing fish and they like that, but they didn't understand you sat 40 hours to spear that fish. So. And back in downtown Fond du Lac. This is the eighth annual Sturgeon Spectacular, and we're so excited you're all here. The city is celebrating the season's kickoff this weekend with curling matches on Lake Winnebago, live music, plenty of food and drink, and games for children. But organizers say one of the most popular attractions is the live snow sculpting competition. Sculptors say they look forward to competing and bringing wintry art to downtown. Yes, it's a unique sport. Uh, we're intensely competitive and doing uh, really nice pieces. At the same time, we're very friendly with all the other sculptors. We're willing to share tools and share knowledge. That giant surgeon will light up downtown for the rest of the weekend as events continue through Sunday. In Fond du Lac, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC26.